You know, I'm going to be honest. When I started watching Outlander, I got into it and I was like, this is an emotional love story about time travel and the death somebody will go when they love somebody and how they'll never let no distance, no space, no nothing. Witchcraft, no nothing get in between the way they love. I'm in season six now. And and, and, and and this has gotten messy and petty, and I am interested in a whole different way. First of all, I love Claire. I was a little hard on Claire when I first got into the series, because that was me being a man emotionally tied to the reality of real life, right? In the last episode, she was at a party, and she passed out some flowers that got everybody high in the garden. But I like Claire. Claire has become indigenous to my heart. Malva is a bad woman. Malva is slick. Malva cut that lady hell because Malva thought everybody would be like, oh my God, no, Claire gonna be fine any damn way. Claire can have half of her head shaved and somebody like Jamie gonna wanna take Claire down, downtown, Julie Brown. But Malva said that she slept with Jamie, she should have known that wasn't gonna work. Jamie was out of town and he was in a situation where he could have took down many, 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 many Tatanka type things and he said no. Nobody was gonna believe that but the point is she put some blood in the water. I'm getting tired of Jamie me now. Because in that argument, Jamie in no way in hell had to admit that he had slept with somebody in a cave while Claire was in the future living her best life, well not her happiest life, but her best life with her daughter and her future husband. And Jamie just used that moment to say, you know what? I cheated on you. I can't stand Jamie, brother. You got to take some stuff to the grave. We can't be like you, Jamie. This is why you are the king of all men, women, animal, children, snakes, past due bills, and everything, Jamie. I want to be like you, but I'm just not strong enough. Claire got a little violent in a dream. Claire, Claire might be the first gangster, the first American gangster, because she woke up and that lady's throat was slit, and she still tried to say the baby and realized the baby wasn't going to make Acting, I always thought I could be an actor. I thought because I talk loud and I use a lot of words and I got emotional sometimes, I could be an actor. Damn it. Katrina is acting. Katrina, you are an actress. You are an, a legend. You deserve every award allowed to a Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award, a CMT Award, a Grammy, an Oscar, an Emmy, any kind of award you can get. You deserve every, you can act better. Did y'all notice how young Ian was like, hey, listen, I say the baby mine. I'm ready to take the child support. I'm ready to go to court. Like I'm, I'm out here. I'm gonna say the baby mine. And, 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 and Claire was like, Nah, you ain't got it. But Ian was like, Yeah, I slept with. Her. I beat a bike here one time, so I claimed the baby. Claire was like, You know, yo, yo, men ain't march like that. Besides, she's sleeping with somebody else. And young Ian got offended. Like, who cares? I'm in. I will take the baby. It's my. I love the family atmosphere of this season. I love how everybody got each other back. Something weird is happening between Tom. And Claire, I ain't saying Claire stepping out. I ain't saying she want to step out. But something going on between Tom and Claire that I can't quite put my hand on yet. Um, episode six, it was a lot of drama. It was real messy. It was a lot of people dying. It was a lot of death. If you were Paul Berry, you got paid that episode. Um, Malva went out. I ain't know nobody could cut throats like that. I ain't nobody could be mean and condescending like that. Malva, you... You Marvel, you um, you a B word, and I ain't I ain't saying that because like I'm, I'm you, you was a B word this episode, and it wasn't nice, and you was a B word, and, and and as far as Jamie, will you please stop admitting how great of a man you are, Jamie? Please stop admitting how great of a man you are, Jamie, because I would have took that that sleeping around with her. You come on, bro, she had to have you, Claire. You had to have known Jamie was dry here throwing throwing logs down hallways while you was gone because he didn't think you were coming back home. May not be the king of men when that is in the building. That's all I'm saying. I can't wait for the season finale because I am going to be lit.